good day welcome this is your daily med with lady v as we look at the, the seventh side of sin uh we want to look today at iniquity we have looked at transgression before saying that sin is a transgression of the law of god that which he has laid down divinely for men to follow and when man overstep that bound as we look at iniquity today we will look at colossians chapter 3 verse 5 through 9 what is iniquity iniquity is an act of inherent wrong and we will see because that act is being carried out and it is wrong we will see a lot of immorality so as we turn to colossians chapter 3 verse 5 through nine it says mortify therefore the members which are upon the earth fornication uncleanness inordinate affection evil concup evil concupiscence and covetousness which is idolatry for which things sake the wrath of god cometh on the children of disobedience in the which he also walked some time when he lived in them but he tells us what to uh, what to put off also Ephesians 4 verse 20 he says but now he also put off these things anger wrath malice blasphemy filthy communication out of your mouth lie not one to another seeing that he have put off the old man with his deeds and of course Ephesians 4 and 23 tells us what we are to put on so while we are putting off there is that which is to be put on as we look at our scripture we would say what to wear or what to put to death what to wear what not to wear believers should get rid of our worldly clothes the worldly clothes of sin that uh, we may wear that which the garment that christ art prepared this garment of sin is what we wear before our conversion the, the scripture tells us that we should put to death the things in our members which are on the earth the things that is not of God the Apostle Paul does not mean that we should literally destroy any of our, the members of our physical body as verse 5 tells us but it tells us five things that we should literally put to death we want those things to die we do not want those things in our lives and it tells us one that it is a fornication it's all manner of unlawful sexual relationships it says we should put away uncleanness homosexuality and all other forms of sex perversions the bible tells us about the 17 works of the flesh we should put away these things it says inordinate affection which is the unnatural unrestrained excessive and out of bounds passion and lust the bible says we should put away evil concupiscence evil wicked and depraved desires the lust and passion or the great appetite that we have for these things he says we should also put to death covetousness which is idolatry because these things that are coveted we want them so badly that they would become idols in our lives we know that when we accepted the lord jesus christ god gave us a standing in his son jesus christ he has died and we died with him then our state who we really are the bible said we should reckon ourselves to be dead and that's why he says put to death 
iniquity and truth be told it's inherent inherent sin what is it that which we inherited from adam the things we inherited from our ancestors our four parents the things that they used to do we have an inclination we tend to want to do the same thing so when we look at the things where does these things originate the bible says they begin in our heart and he wants us to put these things away the word of god is clear in teaching that inherently yes we do these things god made man with the power for reproduction no problem but the sin comes when these things that god so graciously bestowed upon us are used for vile and illicit purposes sexual sins was the cardinal offense of the pagan the world in which paul living is these and as these passages written by paul he is saying listen these things cause the downfall in our lives so don't do them out of the bounds of what christ order men think okay women think yeah we can commit all these things sins and we will escape the punishment no man might be saying but god is not saying anything about it no he has already given the word in the scripture and the wrath of god will come upon the sons and daughters of disobedience for these things these sins and all sin in our life as is consequences and so a terrible day is coming a day of harvest a day of judgment a time yet in the future if we continue to do these things and does not accept the grace of god which he provides we will be given account for these things so in verse 7 paul was reminding the colossians do not indulge yourself in these sins these are the things you used to do before your conversion but the grace of god have delivered you from this impurity so what you ought to do now is to live the new life that is empowered by the holy spirit galatians 5 25 he says if we live in the spirit let us also walk in the spirit he says since we have been redeemed from such a these things at a tremendous cost of what jesus christ did for us put off these things like uh, some dirty clothes that you take off and put aside and we also see where he tells us about some of the types of wicked hatred that uh, sometimes follow when we do these things he says anger of course this is a strong spirit of dislike or animosity when one have a revengeful spirit or a settled feeling of hatred he says rat also when this anger that involves sometimes there's a great outburst of what is going on in the heart malice the wicked conduct towards others especially one one wants to destroy another the bible is saying put away these things put away blasphemy harsh speaking against another person wanting to, you know to scold them in an insolent manner or to destroy them he says put away shameful language language that are lewd and corrupt and distasteful and disgraceful languages that are impure he said put these things away so we see the catalog of sin that the apostle speaks about and they go away from motive to acts so we not only have the desire to do them but begin to 
up them out uh, and then we find bitterness uh, start in the human heart uh, and then manifest itself uh, in various different ways uh, as it has uh, been uh, described but Paul is saying in effect let your state because you have accepted Christ uh, Jesus become like your standing that God has given to you in Christ Jesus. Let your walk be that of one that shows that you have put off the whole man in the things that we practice, in the things that we do, in the things that we say. He refers to lies. Lying is one of the things that belongs to the old man. We see what lie did in the book of Acts chapter 5 when Ananias and Sapphira, his wife, a plan together to lie to the apostle and he says you didn't lie to me you lied to God so as child or children of God lies nor any of all these things have any place in our hearts but we know in society man is tempted woman to distort the truth sometimes by withholding information sometimes by exaggerating a story sometimes by causing injury by what we do to others by false statement or sometimes not even saying it but creating a false impression against somebody else to destroy their lives the bible is saying all these things we should put aside we should put off we should put to death seeing that we have become the new creation in christ jesus so today he is saying put away iniquity don't do these things but accept the free grace and live in it that which jesus christ did for us at Calvary and that which God the Father has granted unto us uh, the standing that he has given unto us in Christ uh, and may our practice or our state match or become or we reckon ourselves as dead because of what Christ has done for us God bless you thank you again for watching please like please subscribe please share please comment and don't forget to visit my youtube channel daily med with lady